So I was doing some, just playing around with some of the accessibility uh, features on an Android phone. I'm using a um, Nexus 4. And I came across this thing, I didn't quite know how to um, disable it. Um, so I'm using just the basic, um, I think it's called TalkOver or something like that. And it basically allows you to uh, navigate. Russell Free Folder. Folder opened two by two. So you can navigate like that. Um, it also helps in, in web view and stuff. It's just uh, a screen reader, essentially, for Android. It's, um, it's the, just the built-in one. So I went to Google Chrome. Uh, Folder open. So I'm just on a, um, a blank tab, and what I thought um, I would try is that you can use voice to search. Um, I thought that would probably be what most uh, people with sight disabilities maybe use because the keyboard um, is probably not that easy to use. So I may be URL. wrong, completely wrong in that assumption. So I'll go to the URL, search a type URL disabled, and the uh, the URL comes up. Is that on a focus? Nope. But over in this uh, well, over in this corner here is a microphone, so hmm. I can tap it to search. And what happens? More options. Search a type. Edit box. Start voice search. So start voice search. Google search. Chrome. Web view. Web view. Search Google search. And Screen reader uses. Click here to turn off Google Instant. So when I clicked it, the voiceover came on, said Google Search, and the microphone heard that and uh, Googled Search. That's what it did. Um, gave me the results, etc. I'm not too sure how you get around that. It works fine if you use the, um, the built in uh, Google bar. So the um, Google bar at the top here um, has a voice search, and if I use that, voice search, Google. So nothing came up. Tap to speak. Accessibility in Android, and that came up as seven million. Or seven something. billion Android Google search. That I mean, maybe my voice isn't clear enough, but. It didn't trigger the um, the Google search voice and uh, search like that, so maybe people just use that instead. Um, but I'd like to know if if there are other screen readers or anything like that for Android. I'd definitely be interested in, in, in trying them out. This one's pretty good though. Other than that. <laughs>